हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ अन्ना साहेब गोराने फ्रॉम रेज शिक्षण संस्थाज आरबीएनबी कॉलेज श्रीरामपूर टुडे वी स्टडी अबाउट ऑप्टिक्स फ्रॉम एलेवन साइंस इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट ऑप्टिक्स रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्रैक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन एट ए सिंगल स्पेरिकल सरफेस and also optical fiber total internal reflection prism formula and you also know about a prism prism is a transparent material bounded by the plane surfaces inclined to each other today we study about thin prism so what is thin prism thin prism is a prism having a small refracting angle a prism having small refracting angle is a thin prism that is a refracting angle a is less than 10 degree suppose this is a prism abc this a is a refracting angle we know bc is the base of the prism if refracting angle is less than 10 degree the prism is called as thin prism and for such prism if angle of incidence is small uh, the incident ray is deviated towards the base and if angle of incidence is also small other angles are also small and if angles are small and if they are in radian we write sin theta if theta is the angle and angle is small then sin theta is nearly equal to theta we also know for the prism suppose this is incident ray refracted ray and this is the emergent ray these are the normals at the two faces this is angle of incidence angle of refraction at the first face angle of refraction at the second face and this is angle of emergence if angle is small sin theta is nearly equal to theta we know so for this face this i is angle of incidence and r1 is angle of refraction we write refractive index as sin i upon sin r1 refractive index as sin i upon sin r1 and if these angles are small uh, sin i is nearly equal to i sin r1 is nearly equal to r1 and hence we write this i is equal to n r1 very simple part i is equal to n r1 if we consider this second refracting surface if the direction of this ray of light is reversed suppose ray is traveling along this direction moves along this and then again emergent ray will be here this e will be i that is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of refraction and in this case we write this equation as n is equal to sin i but instead of i if ray travels like this this e will be i so sin e upon sin r2 sin e upon sin r2 and as the angles are small this sin e is nearly equal to e sin r2 is r2 hence we get e is nearly equal to n r2 e is equal to n into r2 but we know a plus delta is equal to i plus e for the prism we already derived the same relation substitute these values of i and e here we write a plus delta is equal to n r1 plus 
This is an R2. A plus delta, take n as common, R1 plus R2. A plus delta is equal to n in bracket R1 plus R2. But we also know in the previous lecture, this R1 plus R2 is nothing but a refracting angle A. Hence we write A plus delta is equal to n into A or this delta is equal to n A minus A. Again take A as a common. We write delta as A n minus 1. This is very important relation for a deviation through a thin prism. That is the prism having a small refracting angle uh, less than 10 degree. Delta is the angle of deviation. A is the refracting angle. N is the refractive index of the prism. As this A and N are constant for a given prism, for thin prism, as this A and N are constant, angle of deviation is constant. Angle of deviation is constant. As this refractive index, refracting angle are constant, angle of deviation is constant uh, and it is independent of angle of incidence. There is no term I. Angle of deviation is independent on angle of incidence. So what is the question based on this article? What is the thin prism? Derive the formula for angle of deviation of thin prism. Uh, it means uh, derive up to this step. Delta is equal to A n minus 1. Or another question may be like this. Show that in thin prism for small angle of incidence angle of deviation is constant and it is independent of i see here as a is constant n is constant angle of deviation is constant and as there is no term i that is the angle of incidence this angle of deviation is constant and it is independent of i now we study the next article that is the angular dispersion this article is also uh, very important. Angular dispersion and mean deviation. Angular dispersion and mean deviation. For this purpose, uh, we consider the diagram, this diagram, this is a prism, ABC is its principal section and polychromatic light is incident at its one face. If this prism is not there, this light travels along this direction. This is the direction of incident light, this dotted part. And at this point, the rays refracted deviation for violet is maximum. Deviation for the violet color is maximum. And deviation for a red color is minimum. This is red, violet, this is a polychromatic light that is white light suppose it is made up of 
uh, different colors you know monochromatic light light of single color or wavelength polychromatic light is made up of different wavelengths or color uh, suppose white light it is refracted and it is dispersed into seven colors from violet to red in between violet and red there are five colors we know violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red angle of deviation for red color is minimum uh, that is delta r angle made by this emergent light with the incident direction angle of deviation for violet color is maximum that is delta v and difference between these two angles is this much that is delta vr that is equal to delta v minus delta r delta v minus delta r so this is the figure and we see uh, what is the angular dispersion polychromatic light is incident the emergent light consists of individual colors these individual colors are angularly separated and then we see what is the angular dispersion angular dispersion it is the angular separation angular separation between extreme colors between extreme colors in the dispersed beam dispersed beam now see in case of white light the dispersed beam consists of the seven colors from violet to red violet and red are the extreme colors violet and red are the extreme colors deviation for violet is maximum deviation for red is minimum and the angular separation between the extreme colors is the angular dispersion so difference between these two angles is delta vr and that is delta v minus delta r hence angular dispersion here is angular dispersion that is delta vr is equal to delta v minus delta r suppose this is our equation 1 it is delta v minus delta r but we already know for the thin prism delta is equal to a n minus 1 we know the meaning of these terms for the violet color we write the equation as delta v is equal to a instead of n we write n v that is the refractive index for the violet color minus 1 similarly for the red angle of deviation will be delta r a in bracket n r minus 1 simply substitute these values in equation 1 simply substitute the values we write angular dispersion as that is delta v r delta v is a in bracket n v minus 1 minus delta r that is minus a n r minus 1 so this angular dispersion delta v r is a n v simple multiplication minus a minus a n r minus minus uh, that is plus a 
that minus a plus a becomes zero remaining terms will be these two only take a as common so this delta vr is a nv minus nr this is nothing but angular dispersion for the extreme colors that is violet and red from this expression it is clear that angular dispersion depends on first point that is a that is the refracting angle of the prism it depends on refracting angle a of prism second point it depends on this refractive index and we know refractive index is a property of material of prism hence we say that it depends on material of prism material of prism or material that is a refractive index this angular dispersion depends on these two quantities for white light if white light is passed through the prism we get the seven colors violet and red are the extreme and yellow color is considered as a mean color yellow color is a mean color and so deviation for this yellow color is mean of the extremes that is delta v plus delta r upon 2 as yellow color is a mean color the deviation for the yellow color delta y is delta v plus delta r upon 2 and also delta y is as delta we know a n minus 1 we know the expression for delta so delta y will be a n y minus 1 and deviation for the mean color will be mean of the extreme 2 that is delta v plus delta r upon 2 so this is uh, angular dispersion uh, for the violet uh, white light a n v minus n r violet and red are the extreme colors if the extreme colors are suppose delta 1 and delta 2 if the extreme colors are delta 1 and delta 2 and suppose this delta 2 is greater than delta 1 delta 2 is greater than delta 1 then angular dispersion between these two colors will be angular dispersion will be delta 2 1 that is the difference between these two delta 2 minus delta 1 but this delta 2 is a n 2 minus 1 because delta is a n minus 1 minus delta 1 is a n 1 minus 1 very simple part a n 2 minus a minus a n 1 minus minus that is plus a minus a plus a becomes 0 minus plus and take here a as common so this angular dispersion here will be a n2 minus n1 n2 minus n1 n1 and n2 are the refractive indices uh, for the two colors that is the extreme colors so this is about the angular dispersion and the mean deviation and this angular dispersion depends on these factors refracting angle and it depends on a material of prism our next article is a dispersive power 
of the prism. This article is also a very simple concept, dispersive power. And then we see one numerical uh, based on this. Dispersive power. This dispersive power is denoted by the letter omega. So, what is the dispersive power? It is the ability of the material, that is the optical material, to disperse the constituent colors and it is measured uh, for any two colors. It is the ability of that optical material, that may be glass, water, whatever it may be, to disperse the constituent colors and this dispersive power is measured uh, for the any two colors. Firstly, we see the definition of this dispersive power. It is the ratio of angular dispersion. It is the ratio of angular dispersion to the deviation to the mean deviation for those colors. It is the ratio of angular dispersion to the mean deviation mean deviation for those colors it is measured for the two colors that is those colors it is the ratio of angular dispersion ratio of the two quantities to the mean deviation for those colors we know violet and red colors are the extreme colors for the white light. So, for white light, this angular dispersion is angular dispersion is sorry for the white light, this uh, dispersive power is dispersive power that is omega its angular dispersion upon deviation of mean color deviation of mean color for the white light angular dispersion we know delta v minus delta r delta v minus delta r and as we know yellow color is the mean color so it is delta y or we write this angular dispersion as delta v minus delta r divided by this delta y is the deviation of mean of these two so delta v plus delta r upon 2 this is the dispersive power suppose this is equation 1 but we know this angular dispersion that is delta v minus delta r is a in bracket n v minus n r so this equation 1 becomes dispersive power substitute the values in equation 1 this delta v minus delta r we know it is a in bracket n v minus n r divided by this delta y we also know it is a in bracket n y minus 1 that a a get cancelled and we get dispersive power as n v minus n r upon n y minus 1. 
so this is the expression for the dispersive power from this expression it is clear that as it is the ratio of two similar quantities dispersive power is unitless and dimensionless quantity as it is the ratio of two similar quantities it is unitless and dimensionless quantity as there is no term a it does not depend on the refracting angle it depends only on the refractive indices and not on the dimensions of that material and as refractive index is a property of material we say that it depends on material of prism it depends on material of prism that is the uh, refractive index and it does not depend on the dimensions and for commonly used glass this dispersive power is about 0.03 no unit no dimensions so this is about the dispersive power then uh, we see uh, one simple numerical uh, based on these articles just completed simple numerical for two or three marks it may be asked for uh, two or three marks uh, the numerical is very simple see here from the given data set from the given data set determine angular dispersion by prism angular dispersion by prism and dispersive power of its material dispersive power of its material for extreme colors extreme colors given refractive index for red is given that is nr 1.62 refractive index for violet is given 1.66 and angle of deviation uh, for the red color is given that is delta r it is 3.1 degree this is our given data what we have to find firstly we have to find angular dispersion angular dispersion and we know angular dispersion is delta v minus delta r this we have to find then what second we have to find a dispersive power that is omega and we know it is delta v minus delta r upon delta y delta v minus delta r upon delta y or uh, mean of this two delta v plus delta r upon two and this is our given data and as we know delta is equal to a n minus one this is our deviation through the thin prism so this delta r is 
for the red color it is a in bracket nr minus 1 very simple formula and hence uh, this a will be delta r upon nr minus 1 but what is this delta r this is 3.1 nr is 1.62 minus 1 1.62 minus 1 so this will be 3.1 divided by 0 0.62 simply shift this decimal point to two digits uh, this will be 310 upon again shift this to two digits 310 upon 62 and clearly very simple it is 5 degree so we get the first intermediate answer that is a is equal to 5 degree that is the refracting angle very simple part we get the refracting angle as 5 degree now we know uh, similarly delta v is a n v minus 1 a we get that is 5 NV is 1.66 minus 1 that is equal to 5 into 0 0.66 5 multiplied by 0 0.66 that is 3.3 .3 degree that is 3.3 .3 degree so our next intermediate answer is delta V is 3.3 degree firstly we find these two answers and then we move towards our main problem that is we find angular dispersion angular dispersion delta v minus delta that is the simple formula Delta V is 3.3 .3 minus delta R is 3.1. So, this angular dispersion will be 0 0.2 degree. This is our first answer. Angular dispersion is 0 0.2 degree. Now, we find the dispersive power. Dispersive power omega is delta V minus delta R upon delta v plus delta r divided by 2 substitute the values 3.3 .3 minus 3.1 divided by 3.3 .3 .3 3 plus 3.1 upon 2 this will be 0.2 upon uh, this will be uh, 6.4 upon 2 so it will be uh, here multiplied 0 0.2 into 2 upon 6.4 so next part will be 0 0.4 upon 6.4 shift the decimal point to one digit 4 upon 64 that is 1 upon 16 and by solving that 1 upon 16 we get dispersive power omega as 0 0.0625 no unit as it is a ratio to similar quantities okay today we stop here thank you